Hello everybody, Washut here, and welcome back to Little Goody Two Shoes. Alright, let's continue onwards. Oh, I'd best go chase after Flock. I didn't see where he went off to, did you? Ah, oh, that's alright, Elise. I'll lure him out with a carrot or two, you'll see. I only hope he hasn't wandered into town. Oh god. I'll find him, you'll see. Mm-hmm. His gift does suit you rather well, lass. Those shoes, they'll guide you to him. What in the Lord's name? Who are you? You know who I am, at least. You're with him, just like that crow. Quite smart, aren't you? This is another of his trials, I take it. Why, yes, you're truly so delightful, lass. Fortune, that's what you're after, is it? You've come to taunt me, I'm assuming. I've come to welcome you into my very own garden, Elise. You alone, lass. I won't let that wretched thing into my grove, unlike Murim. That fool. The testament you seek rests deep within my depths, Elise. Might have meet you there then. My, how willful you are. Out with it. You're trying my patience, that's what. We both know what I'm after, Serpent, so get it over and with and uh. Now, you're now the bearer of my hex, lassie. Fated to meet me in my realm. Show me your resolve, your burning desire for more. Be good, behave, Elise, and I'll welcome you with open arms. You sickening wretch. I'll be waiting for you by the gates of my... bedewed forest of berries, at least. Mm, to hell with you. Uh, this stings. It's best I don't alarm Rosemary. I have to prepare myself for tonight. I must see this through. Nope, let's go talk to her. Nope. Go, friend. Go, friend. I was just bit by a snake. I'm so close to reaching his blessing. If what that crow and that serpent said is true, then... I have no choice but to keep going for my own sake. Doing a look, doing okay. I think it's probably a good idea to at least get one pretzel while I'm here, though. Oh, you're out again. All by your lonesome today, at least. My cousin's taking a little longer to get ready today, is all. Oh, I'm so glad you're getting along, dearie. You could use the company. Why doesn't she stay in here in Kieferberg? Ah, I'm not too certain about that, Granny Gretel. Say, Elise, there's a favor I'd like to ask you. Won't you keep an eye on Lebkuin for me today? Is she sick or eh? Uh... She wasn't feeling her best this morning, yet insisted on going to church. Ah, uh, that Lebkuin. You go give her a proper earful for me, will you? Well, I have to have a good word with Lebkuin. She can't keep going like this. Hmm. 
Hmm. I hope Lebkuhn's okay. There's something going around, although it's a bit different. Freya, there you are. Hmm, still nothing. Maybe it was gonna be nothing this whole time. There was the golden girl at the very beginning. I wouldn't want to be a burden, Freya. Not at all, Mrs. Lisbeth. It would be my pleasure. Ah, good morning, Elise. Is everything all right? Oh, I was inviting Mrs. Lisbeth and the children for dinner. I don't think we're ready for that yet, my dear. Well, the invitation stands, Mrs. Lisbeth. You're welcome any time you'd like. How's that for Mrs. Lisbeth? Oh, Elise, I have so many questions. He hasn't slept. He, he keeps mentioning the witch. The witch? What happened in the woods, Elise? I didn't see anything resembling a witch, that's for certain. Apple's still frightened, Mrs. Lisbeth. My apologies, Elise. It wasn't my intention to insinuate a... That's alright, Mrs. Lisbeth. I know you meant no harm. Oh, I hope nothing else happens today. Wow, we are super comfortable lying at this point, huh? Truly, everything's to be getting worse tri or lately. I guess we kind of have to, though. I'm trying to decide if it's a white lie or not. We're kind of lying for ourselves, but we're also kind of lying to preserve the town's sanity. Oh, I feel I'm losing my mind, lad. We ought to stay strong, Mrs. Mariel. What happened, Mr. Gitto? Haven't you heard, Elise? The windmill was ransacked, even though the door was locked shut all night. Huh? I don't want to think about it, if I'm honest. It could have been one of us folks, too. Or even the witch. Oh, don't say that, Gitto. These folks are losing their minds. I can only hope they don't turn on me. Elise, dear, are you listening? Uh, what? Still tired from yesterday. It's best we don't chew it over too much, I'd say. Keeping our mouths shut won't make it go away, Brunhilde. Somebody ransacked the windmill again? Leave the windmill alone. Here to lend Lebkuhn a hand, lass. What are you talking about, Mr. Wilhelm? Haven't you heard? Folks are gathering like bees inside that church. Because of the windmill and the grain? Precisely, folks are going crazy. Some say it was the witch, others say it was the devil himself. Wait, Mr. Wilhelm, what does any of this have to do with Lebkuhn? Uh, it's best you go see for yourself, lass. This can't be good. Uh-oh. Leave Lebquin alone. She's working hard enough. Oh, I'm glad I had a word with Lebquin this morning. You folks are completely losing your minds. They certainly are, Mrs. McTilda. Elise, this is best to be taken seriously. My, I wouldn't want to blame poor Yugen, but, uh... You'd best not say it, McTilda. This is a matter to be handled by Father Hans. Whatever it is, I don't think it's anything to fret about. How can you say such a thing, lass? Let's try to keep our composure, ladies. Mrs. Audley is right. We'd best wait for Father Han's judgment. I gotta be careful with what I say about town today. Okay. These folks are... <laughs> these folks are rabid. They're not rabid. They're just superstitious. Very superstitious. Alright. Let's take a look around. Anybody standing on there? That stoop? I keep feeling that flower stoop. Someone's been hiding there. Oh, wh what? The washing well's empty. That note and that key. Whoever's been doing those rituals may have tampered with this faucet. 
Oh, now you can talk to it. Okay. So it looks like that starts on Thursday. I'm wondering, man, I came back to this like 80 bajillion times. Like, what? It clearly has to do with the thing. We've got to clear out the blockage, folks. It's the only way. If you say so, lad. What's wrong with the fountain? That's one thing after another, isn't it, Elise? Oh, I didn't even notice. We think the fountain's obstructed is all. This is all her doing. The witch. She's taken our grain, our children, and now she's after our water. We've discussed this, old lad. Finn and I can give it a look, can't we, Finn? To the best of our ability, but... Old Wilhelm ought to know what's wrong with it. We're to gather here at noon, folks. I want to have a word with all of Kieferberg. You'll need me to lend a hand, Father. Naturally. Gustav. What are we to do about the grain, folks? The grain? Oh, you haven't heard, lass? No, and I'm yet to fully understand what's going on. Someone was in the windmill last night, Elise. It could have been the wind or the crows, still. The door was still locked this morning, lad. It was Yugen's responsibility, but... It was the witch, I tell you. <sighs> Give it a rest, old Oaken. I was told you left home early last night, Elise. She was certainly tired, old Oaken. Don't be unreasonable. It couldn't have been one of us folks. What about the weevils? What is this? We <laughs> She's terrified of weevils? Come on, they're the best bug out there. Weevil time. Weevil, Mr. Ludwig. The flour and grain we had stored away are riddled with beetles, Elise. Oh. I'm not certain. What we're to do with this grain now? All we can do, oh, all we can to avoid throwing it out, Ludwig. We'll become completely reliant on Primaldorf at this rate. That witch has us at her mercy. She has all of Kieferberg in the palm of her hand and... Uh, that's enough, folks. I've heard enough. Finn and Heinrich will take a look at the fountain later. As for the rest of us, we ought to air out that grain and do away with those beetles starting right now. This is only riling up folks even more. I'd best go see if Lebkuin's alright. Folks must be swarming her. Oh, I'll look for her in the church. She needs a hug. It's her turn for a pretzel. I would, too. I'd give her this pretzel if I could. I think it took me this long. But it's pretty rare for people to, after they've had just a little town meeting to go about. All this time I've been checking again. Let's check up here before we go see. Oh, I was just going to say, Lebkuin, you were saying that it was super busy here and there's nobody here. They're all swarming her. <sighs> Please try to keep calm, Mrs. Linda. Oh, I know, I know. Won't you have a look at my rosary, Lebkuin? I seem to have pulled on it a little too tightly this morning. That's no good, Arion. No good at all. Uh, I'll tighten it for you, Mrs. Arion, but first I ought to, uh... Lebkuin. I can help, Lebkuin. Elise. Ah, Elise. What are you saying, lassie? A maid of all work can't possibly pray our blessings. We need Lebkuin. 
Oh, where is Father Hans when we need him most? Uh. Father Hans has his own matters to attend to. I can... Uh... It's best you visit each and every one of our homes, Lebkuin. Ah, uh, that's... Uh... My end, too. I'll need a prayer in each and every room before sunset. Ah, but before then, Lebquin, could you, uh... Out with it. Will you folks back off a little? My, Elise, can't you see we're, uh... Oh, no. <laughs> Lebquin! Oh, who's gonna pray away our blessings now? We must fetch Father Hans. Someone get her some water. We'll be taking her home, Elise. She'll be fine. All right, Mrs. Dorothy. Why don't you pay her a visit in a little while? Of course, I'll be there. I gotta go see her. She didn't deserve any of this. I won't stand for old lads, nor will anyone else in Kieferberg. Why we ought to start with her, that's what. We're not touching any of our folks either, I'll have you know. What's going on here? I'm not certain this is the best time, lass. Old Oaken's insisting we search folks for the witch's hexes, Elise. You fool. You're giving her time to conceal the... Please, keep calm, Old Oaken. What Kieferberg needs isn't calm, Hans. It's leadership. We ought to take matters into our own hands and search everyone. So you're searching every lass in town? Hmm... I think... Okay. Let's try this one. But I don't think Mr. Gustav would allow Freya to be searched for such things either. I won't allow anyone in town to be searched, lass. Not even you, old Oaken. Keep that in mind. Search me all you want. It's a matter of respect, old Oaken. I would have thought you'd understand. This isn't the time for respect, Hans. I won't allow it. That's all I have to say on the matter. You fools, you'll regret this. <laughs> Again, he's absolutely dead on. <laughs> I can only thank Mr. Gustav for being so firmly against it. I'm certain they'd find that serpent's bite on my neck if they searched me after all. Yeah, they uh, most certainly would. Okay, so it is now um, after... Oh. Well, I'll look more time. Where is it? Thursday morning. All right, let's start it. Ma, there you are, Elise. How is she, Mrs. Dorothy? She's tired as all. Mrs. Gretel and I tucked her into bed just now. I suppose it's best I let her rest, but uh, I'd say so too, Elise. At least we know what caused Lebquin's fainting. What do you mean, Mrs. Dorothy? Why, we don't know what caused Apple's fever. Or why those crows were about town yesterday, Hyora. Uh, what truly happened at the windmill, or why the fountain's not working. Ma, uh, I suppose. Oh, Elise, it's too much. Poor Lebquin. Hopefully she feels better. Day before the... Or two days before the festival and all that. When are you going to start making something new? I see stuff on the shelf back there. They're not selling me baguettes. Oh, to think I've been relying on her so heavily these days. On your way to pray, Lebquin... Oh, pay Lebkuin a visit, Elise. I have to, Mrs. Marielle. The poor lass must be so overwhelmed. Mall of Kieferberg goes to her for reassurance, after all. 
At least Lisbeth here was meaning to ask you. Oh, Mrs. Marielle, I wouldn't want to. Uh, ask me what, Mrs. Lisbeth? You see, Apple's been telling me about what he saw in the woods. Apple's lying. Apple's lying, Mrs. Lisbeth. He's a lying little rat of a child. It's only natural, Mrs. Lisbeth. Apple was rather frightened when I found him, so I suppose... Uh, Oh, at least I truly wouldn't want to imply, but uh, no, I understand, Mrs. Lisbeth. I told you, Lisbeth, he's been hearing old Oaken spread this nonsense about town all week. It's only natural he would be frightened of the witch. Even I was frightened of the woods, to be honest. Oh, at least I can't thank you enough. So Apple's been talking about it after all. I ought to be careful. Now, did Apple even see Rose Marine's? doppelganger with the witch dressing up as her? I'm not sure that he did. He was trapped inside the, the womb-looking tree. Or was it when he popped out? I can't remember. Elise, I thought you'd all be in class. Mrs. Dorothy's insisting Apple should rest for today. Oh, Elise, did Apple truly see the, uh, you know. What are you talking about, Mrs. Linda? Apple says he saw the witch. Jacob, what did I tell you? I'm sorry, Mama. I saw no such thing, Mrs. Linda. The poor lad's still frightened, I'm certain. That said, I wouldn't want my Jacob to believe such notions. Of course, Mrs. Linda. But, Elise... Apple said you saw her, too. Enough of that nonsense, Jacob. But, Mama... Mm, I ought to keep calm and deny everything. This could all get out of hand otherwise, rather quickly, too. Okay, I I understand that the, the point here is that we're trying to keep suspicion down for the townspeople, but... At this point, it seems to be, like, being conflated between us trying to get what we want, the wish. And, I mean, we're putting the town in danger by not telling them exactly what happened. I know that it would raise suspicion, but, you know, I mean, in this position, wouldn't you have to tell the people you live with? I'm at a complete loss. Still can't make sense of the fountain, Mr. Heinrich. Can't make sense of anything these days, that's what. Folks are convinced I had something to do with the windmill. Nonsense, lad. You'd never do such a thing out of spite, we all know it. You ought to stand your ground, Eugen. You're too kind, Heinrich. Folks are rather restless, that's for certain. With all these goings on, at least. First the crows, all about town, now the fountain too. I hope this doesn't have anything to do with the woods. Of course it has to do with the woods. Elise, are you crazy? What do you mean? Nobody's back here? There we go. Everyone's losing their minds today. Ah, uh, you'd agree, I'm certain. Who, me? Eh? You've seen how moody everyone's been all week, lass. Folks don't know what to believe anymore. Nobody's in their right mind. Audley's turning to prayer. Bertha's scared witless. Mrs. Bertha? I'd say what happened to Apple has frightened her, you see. You didn't see anything in those woods yesterday, did you, Elise? No, Mrs. Lorley, I didn't. What use is there in tormenting the poor lass, Lorley? She could have told all of Kieferberg had she seen anything. I suppose, but, uh... Wait, what did that say? She would have told all of Kieferberg. Oh, God, now I'm starting to feel bad. I suppose, but... Uh, Mrs. McTilda's right, Mrs. Lorley. The lad is safe and sound thanks to Elise. We mustn't forget that. You're right, Mrs. McTilda, you're right. Maybe I'm starting to lose my mind. I don't like where this is going. Before we talk to you. 
Not you too, Freya. Oh, at least I don't think I can bring myself to smile today. Oh, God. Oh, God. Then don't, Freya. Folks are already upset enough as it is, at least. They don't need me moping around town, too. You'll never learn, will you? Mrs. Lisbeth, I can't help but worry about her. Mr. Yugen's leaving, and now Lebkuin, too. Things are looking grim, I suppose. I must admit, I've been busier than usual, but... It's Mrs. Wilma who's been trying my patience the most, if I'm honest. Yours and mine. I'll go visit Lebquin later today. There's a veil of hers I've been mending, too. She'll be happy to see you, Freya. Even Freya's in low spirits today, huh? The worst end. Freya losing her smile. Just checking. It's best you don't come about these parts, lass. Ghettos with reason, at least. Uh-oh. Why? Father Han says it's best folks don't wander up there. For the time being, at least. Because of what happened, I suppose. Did you have any business up there, Elise? Of course not, Mr. Finn. What could the lass be wanting to do up there, anyhow? Now, about those weevils. I'll take us the entire day to pick them off the grid. You're gonna do it by hand? Oh, I guess what else do you have? Hmm. Can you even do such a thing? Some of us... Some of it will have to go to the pigs, I'm certain. Just our luck, huh? And yeah, the pigs will be happy, I guess. We've kept away from the logging camp since yes or Tuesday, huh? It's not just you, kiddo. I miss it, too. Miss... What, Mr. Finn? Working a proper day's work, lass. What's there to miss about that? It's a nice change of pace for us, is all. The logging camps upside, or outside of town, it gives us some peace. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's like, it's like going fishing, but you're just like, you know, on a boat drinking beer. Working alongside Gustav is always a joy, too. I can't wait for all this nonsense to be over with. Preparing for the festivals has been a challenge, too. They're taking longer to prepare this year, that's for certain. Well, I mean, come on, everything that's happened... If only I worked outside of town, too. I'd be a great deal less resentful toward these folks. Hmm. I'm gonna try to go up there anyway. Yep, does let me. People are picking the weevils, huh? Do I even still have the key? I suppose I won't be getting in here. Oh. Maybe. I must have... I guess I must have given it back. When that happened? Oh, there you are. All right, we'll go left to right. Actually, we'll go right to left. You first. Took you long enough, Ross Marine. Ah, oh, at least I finally got Flock to settle down in the granary. I didn't see him there. More importantly, Rose Marine, we ought to be rather careful about town today. Folks are losing their minds. I heard something's happened to the fountain, but I... Uh, stay close to me, you hear? All right, Elise. Folks are more than willing to believe there's a witch now, Rose Marine. We're not careful, they'll turn against us. You seem frightened, Elise. I have good reason to be frightened, Rose Marine. Not only for my own sake, either. Oh, you're so silly, Elise. Huh? You don't have to worry about me. I wasn't, it's not like a... Look at you, you've gone bright red. Oh, for goodness sake. I see. I'll call for you if I need help, alright? I'll be here, Elise. 
Things are starting to get rather serious, aren't they? I don't know, Brunhilde. Why don't you have a word with her, Tristan? With, with whom, Mrs. Brunhilde? Miss Linda, she worries too much for her own good. That certainly sounds like Mrs. Linda. The poor lass will end up like Mrs. Audley at this rate, Tristan. I'll see what I can do. She'd best busy herself with the festival, I'd say. Wasn't she lending a hand already? Miss Jacob, she's fretting about, you see. Wants him by her side at all times. Won't let him go play, even. I can't say I don't understand, but... Uh... Anyhow, I gave the lads my word I'd lend a hand with the weevils. And here you are, talking to the biggest weevil of them all. Weren't you fetching some water for Linda, Tristan? After I'm back from the well, Brunhilde. Mr. Tristan's a little short on patience today, isn't he? Hmm, okay, I think it's time we sneak in there before somebody goes down to the well. See what's going on. Now that we have the opportunity and the means. Let me check my sanity. I'd better just top it off, huh? I think the best use of the money is going to be on that, uh... The, the big oil buy. One thing I find kind of interesting about this game so far, in terms of its economy, is that there's no difference between... You see, this, is, this heals 1, this heals 2, so it's 10 and 20 and 30. There's no reason to not just carry around all of this. It's just like you're just entering it more, so... Oh, I'll let you know. Please nobody be there. Please nobody be there. Oh, no! Are they even going to let me do it with them here? Hmm. We'll talk to them first. Kieferberg's in shambles, that's what. Our grain is ruined, our fountain's dry, there's a witch ab out and about. You're making too much of it, Mrs. Wilma. Is she, Elise? Isn't she, Bernard? I understand we're dealing with something we don't truly... An absolute nightmare, that's what this is. The way I see it, it's not the witch we ought to be worried about. Hmm. It's Kieferberg you're worried about, isn't it? I understand what you're trying to say, Mr. Ludwig. Well, I don't. We're clearly dealing with a witch. Whoever it is, they're trying to ruin us, that's what... Stealing Yugen's horses, taking Apple into the woods. This person is a proper menace. We must stay alert. It's not one of us, Ludwig. You didn't believe in any of this yesterday, Mrs. Wilma. Apple claims he is... Oh, he's seen it, Elise. Maybe he just wants attention. Wilma. Either way, folks, we ought to find out what's going on and fast. Starting to feel a little uneasy about all this. Are they even going to let me do it? Maybe if I sneak around the back, they'll let me do it. Let's see what happens. Excuse me, Elise. Why have you decided to completely destroy... I have no idea what's going to happen. Dang it! All right, I'll remember morning or afternoon. I think once we pass the time once, it'll be good. If not, I still have a, I still have the ability to go in there this morning and just replay, so. Um, I think that was everything. I guess it's time for some chores. Check in, are you serious? Are you kidding me? Let's see. Help Elma with the chicken, Marlin with the apples.
Ah, I'm so blessed to have you, Elise. I'll have plenty of apples even if the orchard catches fire. Why in the Lord's name would the orchard catch on fire, Mrs. Marlin? It's best we don't question such things, Elise. Here you go, dear, for your time. Hmm. Romantic date available? Must be... Must be Rose Marine. Okay, everybody's gathered here. It must be available now. So I'm gonna take... I'm gonna do it now. It's It's been long enough. If I possibly can get in there, I'm gonna try to get in there. What? I still can't? Damn it! What if I did the chore somewhere else? Alright. Oh, right, they were calling everybody here. Mm. Now that we're all gathered here, folks. Oh, we're losing our minds, father. This week hasn't been easy for Kieferberg, as we all know. That said, we have decided to ask Primaldor for support. Primaldor, if you say. We cannot compromise the festival at all, as you understand. Are you certain we've considered every option, Father? Kieferberg isn't what it once was, Ludwig. We need their help. We will be patrolling the outskirts in the evenings as well. That should make sleep easier, that's for certain. The protection of Kieferberg and our neighbors is in order, folks. What happened to poor Apfel was bad enough. Oh, Father, but who is to carry out our nightly prayers? Naturally, the church's doors will be open to all regardless. What about the windmill and the fountain? There's still water in the well, Wilma. No need to fret. Oh, but who knows how long that well will last. It's not as though the fountain's sustaining the well, is it? What would you know, Lassie? I'm at a last regarding the fountain, if I'm honest. Wasn't there some sort of blockage, Mr. Ludwig? We're going to have some... Oh, have to disassemble it. Why doesn't she try it, Finn? With those toothpick fingers of hers, I'd say she'd get the job done rather easily. This isn't the time to provoke the lass, Wilma. She's so keen to stick her nose in everything, Ludwig. Might as well teach her a little lesson, wouldn't you say? Let's not get carried away, Wilma. We're not here to. Why, that's a terrific idea. At least that's dangerous. You'll get hurt. Oh, dear Lord, she's getting in there. I'll show you all. A snake? A black snake was in the fountain. Oh, Kieferberg is done for. The witch, it's the witch, the devil himself. That's enough. Silence. We can't lose our heads. We must remain calm. You folks can't. Uh... Calm? How do we remain calm, father? <sighs> Everyone's dismissed. Back to work. Gustav and I will have a word about this. Head back. So, okay, is, so is Gustav kind of representing like the mayor? Like he's kind of like represents the people and he kind of represents, so he's more of like authority, but it's like religious authority and then Gustav is people authority. Oh God, fine, you annoying little. Ah, oh, it's you. That's actually such a fun. I have an offer for you, Elise. That's so fun how she peeks around the corners. Out of my sight. 
Martha, I've had enough trouble for one day. Oh, but I think you'd like to hear this. So. Out with it then, I don't have all day. Ah, uh, but it wouldn't be for free. How about you give me some soup? Why, I don't think so, Muffs. We had an agreement to lease. You're lucky I don't want any trouble. Mindy, out with it now. What did you have to tell me? Oh, you're so generous. Out with it, out with it Mary. Right now before I... You don't have to threaten me, Elise. Why, you threaten me every day, you little... I heard my auntie talking about a search. A search? Folks are losing their minds over that serpent you pulled out of the fountain. They want to search everyone in town. For goodness sake! <sighs> I'll put in a good word for you, Elise. But you ought to promise you'll bring me some apple strudel tomorrow. See, yeah, I kept it just in case. <laughs> Out of hell with you, Molly. Out of my sight. <laughs> Melly's interference can weigh quite heavy. I'd best be prepared for tomorrow. Yeah, she's almost like a, a get out of jail free card. It feels like, okay, for serious now. I want to see if I can get to that flippin'. Find out what happened. I will, in just a moment. Dang it! That absolutely will not do, Gustav. Wilma's right. What we need is someone to, uh... What are you two pestering Mr. Gustav for? They're all valid concerns, ladies, but I ought to say... No, I don't think you understand, Gustav. We must make certain there's no witch in Kieferberg. As if that'd change anything. I have a suggestion, Mrs. Elma. Huh. <laughs> we throw folks off the cliff, see if they fly or not. Very funny, Elise. Glass is right, lad ladies. We must be reasonable here. Things can only get worse if we don't act now, Gustav. Things could get better, too, Mrs. Elma. Oh, all you want is Gustav's good books, lassie. All I want, Mrs. Wilma, is some peace and quiet around here for once. That's why we must find the witch, lass. Good grief. I'm glad to see there's some cheer left in you, Lisbeth. Well, I have much to thank for you for, Mrs. Mariel. You do look better, Mrs. Lisbeth. We spent a couple hours at Mrs. Mariel's, you see. I knew you could use some time away from these goings-on. I must say, however, I'm a little fearful myself, too. You, Mrs. Mariel? Folks are losing their wits, Elise. We were sewing for the festival, and even then, and every conversation led back to the crows or apple or the fountain. I see. Thinking ill of each other, accusing each other. I've just about had it. It's good Mrs. Marielle still got it together, huh? I'll say. Who are you? Oh. Never seen you from behind before. Don't let it get to you, Elise. Let what get to me, Mrs. Ariane? Why this nonsense about the snake and the witch and whatnot? Folks can't get enough of it, and even I'm starting to, uh... Believe it? I wouldn't say I believe it, Elise, but it's complicated. You understand, you know? I suppose I do, Mrs. Arion. Yet, I don't! Not one bit! It's me! This whole time, you fools! but I've definitely seen the witch. Probably should have at least said that, you know. It's cruel, I tell you. That's all this is. What's cruel? Mr. Heinrich. 
blaming Yugen for what happened to the windmill, lass. I must confess, I'd rather be a witch than a neighbor. Now, I wouldn't go that far, but Yugen wouldn't, uh... You, Mr. Heinrich? That serpent you pulled out of the fountain, Elise. Folks couldn't do such a thing. Wouldn't you say it crawled into the fountain by itself? Not likely. Whatever's happening in Kieferberg, it's starting to compromise our livelihood and we can't have that. We must make the most of those patrols, that's what. Even they're starting to consider this wind witch nonsense. Yeah, I think pretty, pretty much everybody. There's just a couple holdouts that don't think it's a witch at this point. Or at least, you know, kind of suspecting it could be. We ought to search Kieferberg from top to bottom, I say. I'm not sure I agree, old Oaken. I share your concerns, Mr. Ludwig. I'm certain that serpent simply crawled into the fountain. Can't you see what's transpiring here, you fool? You're the only fool here, old Oaken. No, I don't think we can, old Oaken. Everyone else is fretful, of course, but you're the one causing such an uproar. I suppose that snake you pulled out of the fountain didn't help, Elise. As if that's my fault, Mr. Ludwig. I wouldn't put it past you, last lord knows what the witch is. Blindly accusing folks won't get us anywhere, old Oaken. You'll see, you fools. No, I don't think we'll be seeing much of anything, old Oaken. You must keep calm, lest Kieferberg catches on fire. It's just, as Mr. Ludwig said, this old fool's hoping for the witch to show up. There she is. Come now, Audily, there's hardly any need for all that howling. I'm surprised you're not on her side about this, Mrs. Bertha. Audily's convinced you conjured up that serpent, Elise. We all saw it with your own eyes, Bertha. We saw nothing of the sort. Elise might very well be the witch for all we know. Why, you? That said, we can't point fingers at everyone in town, Audily. Punishing all of Kieferberg out of fear isn't the answer. Oh, good lord, we're done for. I can't even have a word with Lebkuin either. Because you folks hounded her day and night. Leave Audily to me, Elise. Kieferberg will be done if we carry on like this. I'm not so certain I'm comfortable with leaving Mrs. Audily to Mrs. Bertha, but... Do you have a moment, Elise? Certainly, Father. I would like to ask you to go easier on folks. Easier, Father. Practice patience, Elise, now more than ever. You pulling out that serpent this morning has upset some folks. I don't think that's fair, Father. Hmm. I don't think that's fair, Father. Mrs. Wilma was the one who provoked me to do it in the first place. I understand, Elise, but folks are restless. Today has been rather challenging, as you know. I hope you're having this conversation with the Mrs. Audley as well. Mrs. Bertha, Mrs. Brunhilda, and Old Oaken, too. Certainly, Elise. Hmm. I'm the problem, I suppose. I always have been. Alright, what's going on? Mrs. Uh, McTilda. Ah, at least I was looking for you, dearie. Looking for me, Mrs. McTilda? You see, I was hoping you'd have a word with Ariane. I've been struggling quite a bit lately, you see. Struggling with what, Mrs. McTilda? Oh, it's rather embarrassing, but I can no longer do many of my house chores. This terrible tremor won't let me wash my dishes or my laundry. Mrs. McTilda, won't you tell her I need her to stop by tonight, Elise? I would tell her myself, but this would be for the fourth time this week, you see. Of course, Mrs. McTilda, I'll let her know. Mrs. McTilda used to be so energetic, too. Well, I mean... Such is life. Ah, uh, Mrs. Arian, I was meaning to ask you. 
Is it Mrs. McTilde? Isn't this funny? They all know each other so well that they already know what's coming. She says she needs you to help her out again tonight. Yes. The poor thing, old age truly doesn't forgive, does it? When did this start, Mrs. Arion? Well, oh, just last week, Elise. Oh. I caught her trying to wash her sheets by the well, you see. She could have asked me. Mrs. McTilda's rather stubborn, you know that. Tell her I'll be there right after supper. All right, Mrs. Arion. Reminds me of when I had to do everything for Granny Holly. Did you find a release? Mrs. Arion said she'll come by right after supper, Mrs. McTilde. Thank you, Elise. Here's something for you. Oh, hell yeah! You don't have to, Mrs. McTilde. Oh, it's the least I could do, my dear. There will come a day when I truly won't be able to do anything after all. Hmm. And I'm immediately gonna go pawn it off. Instantly going to sell it for money. Has no sentimental value at all. What? Oh, there it is. I mean, we can all agree that Welma is actually best girl, right? Oh, nope, don't sell that. I mean, just look at her. Are you sure that's all, sweetheart? I am. I already talked to you. Oh, wait. It's awful, isn't it, Elise? What Father Hans said earlier? Everybody's talking ill of each other behind their backs, Elise. Isn't how it's always been? No, oh, I know all that. Yet you hate it, is that it? I do hate it, Elise. That snake is going to get you quite the earful too, I'd wager. Oh, to hell with that nonsense, Freya. You'll never reach old age if you keep fretting like this. It's not as though I can help it. She's well on her way to become just like them. That's what. I've seen this... Oh, the toll this is taking on Papa, too. Mr. Gustav does have a lot to worry about, I guess. He hasn't been spending much time at home, either. Always talking with Father Hans with the lads. Folks aren't going easy on him, that's for certain. Mr. Gustav struggling to keep a good hand on this town. Meanwhile, all those old geezers do is make it worse. With the problem, of course, being that all of the old geezers are absolutely dead on. You just say that for the 15 bajillionth time. Might even go inside. There we go. You try to block me from talking to in here. Saw Dorothy over there. What are you doing over there, Dorothy? You got creeper. You don't look so well, Mrs. Dorothy. Well, at least I can't come to terms with it. Father Hans has canceled all my classes for the week. What for? He insists the boys are to rest until the festival. Mm, it's not his worst decision, I suppose. Yet you understand my frustration, don't you, Elise? Their daily readings are an important part of their day. It's only for two days, Mrs. Dorothy. Oh, you don't understand. It's not that big of a deal, but does she look rather dejected, huh? Well, I mean, people getting their reading in. It's probably the most important thing for those kids, right? I mean, other than exercising and being a kid and so on. All things in balance. But it gives them structure, and it gives Dorothy structure, too. There you are. There she is.
You were right, Elise. It really is a lovely view. For goodness sake. You seem better on your travels, I wager. Oh, but Kieferberg is one of the nicest towns I've been to. Huh. Trying to vex me, are you? Uh, oh, I didn't mean to. I know you didn't, Rosemarine. I'm fed up with it, is all. With Kieferberg? With all this nonsense we're dealing with, too. That said, I still haven't made up my mind about leaving it all behind somehow. I'm going to such lengths, and yet... I'd say doubting yourself is a good thing. You're different, Rosemarine. You've always had something to look forward to while I, uh... Even so, Elise. I find myself thinking about certain things living here with you. Such as, uh... How I wish I'd found you sooner and, uh... Have the chance to share memories with you. Just the way Lebkuin and Freya do. You've only been here a few days, Rosemarine. Had you been born here, you'd be just as sick of it as I am. I suppose, but I've never lived in a town this sense of community is something I've never experienced. I've lived here all my life and never experienced it either, Rosemary. Not since Granny Holly passed away, at least. You know, I... Say, Rosemary, about the stars you keep mentioning. Uh, yes. I could tell you all about it, Elise. They've led you here, of all places. To this rotten Kieferberg. Elise, I've had enough of this conversation. I'm heading back to work. Don't you find it strange? All of this nonsense about your fate being with me. Not at all, Elise. I've said it before, you feel like home to me. I see. Not at all, huh? I do wish I was born here if I'm entirely honest. I've come all this way and our paths have finally crossed yet. Me too, Rosemary. I feel at home with you, like I've known you for a long time. I must say, Kieferberg isn't as bad with you around. Won't you give me your hand? You've read it once already, haven't you? I could be more thorough. It may bring you some peace of mind. All right, all right. You're my fated soulmate, Elise. Good grief. Oh, good grief. You've said that already. I know you still don't quite believe me, but... My feelings for you are genuine, Elise. You hardly know me, Rosemarine. Your feelings can't possibly be. <laughs> Yet they are, Elise. They're very much genuine. I see. You're so embarrassing. I wish we had more time to get to know each other, and uh, even if this wasn't my fate, I would still choose to be with you, Elise. <laughs> oh, Elise, you're red as a bee. Like you. I've had it with this nonsense. I'm heading back to work. Uh, yes. Ah, wait for me, Elise. Let's go to the creek tomorrow afternoon. Goodness. I'll be there. Now hurry out. Let me see. Oh, what are you hiding in here for? Eh, Elise. Why are you hiding in here, Miffy? You saw nothing. I'm not here. I I'm at home sweeping, making the beds. Hiding from your aunt again, are you? Oh, please don't tell her where I ran off. She's working me like a donkey, Elise. Is that so? Sweeping, washing clothes, cleaning out the chimney. 
I've had it, Elise. Mrs. Lorley has always been demanding, I suppose. She's not demanding, she's wicked. Wicked, you say? I do feel for poor Melly sometimes. Here, have a pretzel. Oh, wait, I just ate it. Yeah, just checking. Okay. Oh, the two cats sleeping. That's cute. Can't say I'm glad to hear that, lad. Hear what, Mrs. Zelma? That I'm leaving last for good. I thought you'd stay, Mr. Yugen. Don't think so, unfortunately. I would leave too if I were your age and with these goings on. You, Mrs. Zelma? Kieferberg's changed, Elise. Things were different back in my day. More prosperous. Primaldorf has more to offer young folks, that's for certain. Who would have thought? It's no surprise this town is dying. Yeah, all the... All the young people are leaving. Ah, Elise. What's the matter, Ross Marine? Folks have been looking at me all day, is all. You don't think they know, uh... They don't know anything, Rose Marine. We can't forget you're still a stranger to Kieferberg. I don't remember getting these looks on Monday, Elise. They're wary because of what happened today, is all. I suppose. I better make certain I don't raise any suspicion. Can we get in here? Oh my god! We're probably gonna have to wait until night, huh? We're not dealing with regular folk here. Oh, but what if not... Oh, what if it's not folk we're dealing with, Mr. Bernard? Lord knows what could happen to Kieferberg at this rate. It's too much to keep track of, folks. The horses, apple, our grain being riddled with weevils, and now this flooding. I must say, I'm at a loss myself. You, Mr. Gustav? All of Kieferberg is confused, Elise. You're also entertained with this witch you can't see straight. Elise. I can't say I don't agree, but it's to be expected folks would fret Elise. What's that done for Kieferberg so far, Mr. Gustav? All this fretting, day in, day out, and for what? Even you ought to admit this isn't normal, lass. Truly, denying the witch, ex witch exists at this point only makes you a... Uh... We shouldn't go that far, Brunhilde. She's right, Mechtilda. If Elise isn't against the witch, that then that means... Uh... It's best we leave it at that, folks. They were rather defeated. We're everything but defeated, Elise. The lass is right, Brunhilde. Now, I wouldn't say she's right, Gustav. We've been slowly giving in to this witch, haven't we? Take inspiration from Elise herself. Uh, I'm not sure I go that far, Mr. Gustav. She did rescue Ampful, that's for certain. We have much to learn from the lass. You may be right, Gustav. We ought to stand strong. Much to learn from the lass, huh? There she is, Apfel. Why don't you ask her? Ask me what? Apfel's going over what happened yesterday, Elise. He's rather tired and, uh... You saw her too, Elise, I know it. Who did you see, Apfel? I didn't see anyone, Apfel. Oh, Elise, what are we to do about this? I saw her. She had yellow eyes, and I... You're tired, Apfel. I know it was frightening, I was frightened too. Elise is right, Apfel. It's best you rest now. Why don't you go play with Grun and Jacob? You didn't see anybody. You're crazy. Oh, 
Old Oaken's not going to waste his chance, I tell you. His chance to do what, Mrs. Laurelie? Why find the Widgelies? I'm not certain where to trust his judgment, Laurelie. Father Hans isn't lifting a finger. Who else are we to rely on? Let's try this one first. He's done more for Kieferberg than Father Hans ever could. Gustav struggling, however, as we all are. Yet he's doing his best to keep Kieferberg together. The last is right. Still, neither Gustav nor Father Hans will chase that witch out of Kieferberg. What we need is someone who will. I'm not certain old Oaken's the one we need, Lorley. We ought to trust Gustav. He'll find a way. What would these folks do without Mr. Gustav, I wonder? They'd be in some trouble, that's for sure. Oh my god, what is happening? Completely overflowing. That's what it's all about, I tell you. There's no such ill will in Kieferberg, Wilma. What's the matter? Oh, I'm certain he has something to do with it. Wilma's convinced someone's trying to sabotage her in, Elise. It's that Yugen, I'm certain. He's just jealous my business is still up and running, that's what. Oh, spare us the pity party. Mr. Yugen? Are you aware that what you're saying, Mrs. Wilma? Clearly not, Elise. Wilma's letting all this get to her. Aren't we all, Marlin? You folks are too afraid to name names, that's what. It's a matter of respect, Wilma. Respect for home, the witch. What are we to do then, Wilma? It's best I shut my mouth before they turn on me. Talking to these folks is getting tricky, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And nobody's hiding down here. Let's keep calm, folks. Losing our tempers isn't going to fix anything. What's wrong with the fountain now? Could you have damaged it earlier, Elise? That could very much be the case. I don't think so, but... Even if she had, it wouldn't be enough to cause this. What are we to make of this, then, Heinrich? How am I to know such a thing? It's not only the fountain, either. The well is also. How can a well overflow? I'm at a complete loss. Let us wait and see. Why, I'm not about to sit and wait for my home to be flooded. I must say, I don't agree, Father. It might be all we can do. It truly is all we can do, Heinrich. Losing our minds won't help. We must pers persevere. This isn't looking too good for us here in Kieferberg, is it? I want to be able to go into the uh, fish thing. Be able to see what's going on. You're killing me. These people standing all about. Oh, you are feeling better. Hell yeah. What am I to do, Lebkuin? Give him time, Mrs. Lisbeth. Apple's still struggling, is he? He's rather agitated, yes. That aside, at least, I've been meaning to ask you. Apple insists you two saw someone else in those woods. Alas, of all things. I understand how he feels. If I'm entirely honest, I still haven't found my own peace of mind, but... I didn't see what Apple claims to have seen. But, given how frightened he was, he could have imagined it. That's true, but... Oh, I can't bear seeing him like this. It's best we give him some space, Mrs. Lisbeth. Lying to them isn't easy, but I just can't risk telling them the truth. Didn't you go a little overboard, lass? Mrs. Bertha won't have to go to that orchard anytime soon, will she? I wouldn't hear the end of it if she did. For your trouble, Elise. Thank you, Mr. Ludwig.
Are you joining the patrols, lass? My would I, Mr. Wilhelm. Makes two of us then, I see. The lads won't let me go, the ingrates. Ingrates? I'm very much capable despite my age. Ah, I see. You too, Elise. You rescued the poor lad, and yet... If anyone should be out there, it'd be you. I can't say I'd join their patrols even if they wanted me to. Maybe Elise could give it a try, Groon. Give what a try. Apple won't talk to anyone about it. He won't eat, he won't sleep, he won't even talk to Mommy. This can't be good. Do you think you could try talking to him, Elise? Apple says you saw it too, Elise. Saw what? He said there was someone else in the woods, a lass he didn't recognize. A lass? So you don't know anything about it, Elise? Of course not. Don't be silly, Jacob. Apple says he doesn't want to talk about it, but... That's alright, Groon. Granny Marlin said he'll talk when he's ready. Oh, I can only hope he doesn't. Speaking of which, Gustav, we ought to, uh... Head on home, I'd wager. And don't dawdle, Elise. Everyone's to stay home this evening. Of course, Father. It's important we keep a good grasp on who's out and about tonight. What do you mean, Gustav? We're taking turns on patrol, you see. We must make certain the same thing doesn't happen again. What happened with Apple? I don't understand. Or I understand. That's why you and your cousin had best stay home, Elise. Certainly, Mr. Gustav. This ordeal has been going on long enough. It's about time you do something, that's for certain. I'd best hurry if I'm to visit that Serpent's Grove tonight. Have you come here to pray? No. It doesn't make a difference to you at this point, does it? You see, we Golden Maidens are conflicted beings. Huh. He's saved us in a way. What with his blessings and the sacrifices he er, we made. It's enough to forfeit our right to divine salvation, isn't it? What are you trying to say? That I'd rather share eternity with him and his entourage than face my rightful punishment in the pits of hell. What a thing to say in church. Mm, you should be handing home, Elise. I know, Mr. Tristan. We're making certain folks aren't wandering about is all. I'm trying to keep folks at ease, too, given the rumors. Folks are frightened and confused, Yukin. It's not personal. Relieved you'll be leaving Kieferberg next week, aren't you? More than you can imagine, Tristan. You'll be missed, Yukin. That I know for certain. I've never seen Mr. Yukin looking so defeated. It's no wonder, though, is it? I've also noticed that the Golden Girls usually appear where there's no people. We must do something, Marlin. Get a hold of yourself, Brunhilde. Is everything alright? Everyone's losing their minds, at least that's what. There's no need to be so cruel, Marlin. Bernard's out there, too. As he ought to be, Brunhilde, we need them to patrol. Marlin's right, Brunhilde. I'm certain they'll be alright. Elise has it right. She made it out of the woods and with Apfel in tow. We must trust our men, Brunhilde. All this fretting isn't necessarily unwarranted, but for goodness sake.
There's no way there isn't going to be one hiding here at some point. Okay, I think we've waited long enough. Let's get in there and see what's going on with that fish key. I think I saw that there was nobody there. It fit. What in the Lord's name is going on in Kieferberg? Another one of these caves. I'm starting to feel queasy again. Keep it together, Elise. I ought to pull myself together and get this over with. Okay, let's see. They're all lit now, but there's still something missing, I think. What are we missing? Oh. Dire entry number four. This was ripped out of some journal. Most of it was jotted down in a hurry, but while Purja, the witch, I've uncovered her roots at last. Everything points back to Kieferberg, the birthplace of the witch, while Purja and her cult. This can't be. If there truly is a witch in Kieferberg, then. Adored and celebrated for centuries, the woodland surrounding this town was said to have a consciousness of its own. This consciousness, which we now call a witch, was named Walpurgia. Folk's faith in its miracles dates from many years before the glory of the church reached these peaks. Said to grant its believers good health, sustenance, and protection, the woodland, or Walpurgia, harbored folks' wills, wishes, desires, and sins. In such a way, in fact, that it would appear to folks under the guise of a woman. Whisper to the faithful take the form of their loved ones, of an old hag, of a doe, amongst others. The six-ringed maypole, the symbol of St. Walpurgia's benevolence we adore today, was first adored as the symbol of the witch's miracles and mercy. That is no more, however. St. Walpurgia is a patroness of the church, a benevolent figure in our faith. With the arrival of the Lord's messengers to these peaks, the cult of Walpurgia was eradicated. It is fact, however, that the few who lived have become nomads of sorts. What is most puzzling to me is that my research and all of his this history it doesn't quite align with Old Holly's confession. While Purja the witch never once was said to ask anything in return for its blessings. Neither was it ever referred to as a god or a male deity. Rather, a woman. How could he have granted Old Holly a wish? This witch. How could a pagan deity do what the Lord himself won't? I'm fairly certain there is more to old Holly's sins than meets the eye. Granny Holly's sins, he says. None of this is true. Father Hans is losing his wits. Granny Holly would never... She would never hide anything from me. The path ends here, but it looks like it caved in. To me, like it caved in, I wonder if this used to connect somewhere. They're all lit now, but uh, there's still something missing, I think. 
Hmm. There's something in there, but I can't reach it. It's glowing really bright, too. Oh, there we go. What? My brooch. It worked? Speaking of which, that ribbon the other day was rather similar to mine, too. First my ribbon, now my brooch. I don't like this, not one bit. These belong to Holly, Elise? Old tunnel key. Another key. I wonder what this one's for. Hmm. Alright. Still wondering what that's about. Hmm. I think it definitely did. Hmm. This key. I could try every lock and key for Berg and still not find out what it's for. Maybe it's best I give this some thought. Elise, do you have a moment? Oh, for goodness sake. What now? You see, Elise, we've been wondering. It's best we don't, Ariane. What's the matter? Your cousin was telling us about how she got to Kieferberg, you see. Is it true she came all this way on foot, Elise? Yes, it is. She couldn't afford to come about any other way, Mrs. Otley. That's highly unlikely, Elise. She wasn't very lucky. I suppose that's all there is to it. Ah, there was one other thing we wanted to ask you. She told me to light a candle to keep the witch away, Elise. She wants to help us all. That's nothing but old wives' tale, Mrs. Audley. I'll have a word with her. She meant no harm, I'm certain. I'll be on my way home now, ladies. Good night. Hounding me. Get out of here. It's best you head home, Elise, before it gets any darker. Where are you folks going? It's time we head out on patrol. We must make certain Kieferberg's out of harm's way. Even if you say that, Ludwig. You've been going on these patrols all week, and yet... All the more reason to keep doing it, Blass. Finn's right. We need to look out for each other. All I want is to let them have it, be it the culprit or even the witch. Can't say I don't share the sentiment, Finn. At least we've managed to pick out those weevils somehow. My god, you did? Wow. I noticed you've managed to fix the fountain. That happened on its own. We don't know how. Oh, that would show that bastard if only we knew who it is. Would they beat their own neighbors, I wonder? I'd best make certain I don't let my guard down. Hmm. I'm buying. We might as well. About to restock some of my bread from Lebkuen. I'm still on her swing. You just. This is just what you do every evening? You just swing? It's a good way to relax, I guess. What in the Lord's name are you doing out here, Lebkuen? Waiting for your earful, it seems. I would have met you inside, for goodness sake. I'm fine, Elise. You're making too much of it. Your bread. You're out of your mind, Leb. Speaking of which, Elise, folks have been rather tense lately. I've noticed. I know you can look after yourself, but 
One good deed won't shield you from all of it, Elise. What do you mean? Folks have been talking ill about each other all day. I, uh... Even Mrs. Marielle hasn't been spared, you see. There's no need to fret, Lem. I'll make certain I hold my tongue. Make certain you stay home as well. She's noticed I've been wandering about at night. At least, of course, Lem, and you need to stop fretting. We don't want you feigning again. I will, in due time. Lepkuen couldn't possibly know what I've been doing. Still, I ought to make certain it stays that way. Let me just eat the bread right in front of you. Thanks for the bread. Where is it? Best girl. Tied for best girl. With the other three. Now it's that wretched serpent's grove. I'm getting closer and closer to meeting him, aren't I? I'm one step closer to meeting him, it seems. I cannot waver. Not now. I will make it out of this town, no matter what. Can't go in the backyard. Let me look at the tapestry. Oh, God. So... He's hunting the unicorn, but courting the princess or the, the woman? And maybe isn't realizing that they're the same thing? Is that what I'm getting? Because you can see the jewelry there, right? Like her pendant or her necklace? Hmm. Elise. Ah, Elise, welcome home. What's Flock doing inside, Rose Marine? Oh, I'm sorry. I was about to take him out to the granary. Is everything all right, Elise? I'm tired is all. I'm not sure I should mention that serpent. Talking to Rose Marine sometimes does more harm than good. I'm sorry, I... You're thinking of something, aren't you? I'll be heading out after supper, Rosemary. I was invited. Where to? By whom? <laughs> By a serpent. Just the same as that crow, it uh, invited me to its grove. Oh, I'm so glad. oh that's wonderful, Elise. <laughs> I suppose. I'll be staying home this evening, if that's all right. Things didn't quite go so well last time, did they? It's fate. It this is your fate, Elise. It was wrong of me to interfere. This is something you're to do. For you, and you alone. <laughs> you're right. What is it, Flock? Can't you settle down? Uh, I'm sorry. I'll take him outside, Elise. He's been a little restless. And then we can have supper. Mm, a little too restless for my liking. I can hardly think what that goat hopping about.
Where did you go? Folks are starting to accuse each other, even. I must be careful lest they start suspecting me. Hmm. Say, Rosemary. Oh, I was about to head back inside. That's all right, I don't have much of an appetite anyhow. You don't have to justify yourself to me, Elise. Actually, no, it's because I ate, like, five pieces of bread. <laughs> No, I truly don't feel like eating, Rosemarine. It's been a... You've been rather secretive for a reason, I can tell. Rosemarine, you don't have to tell me what happened yesterday. Or even about tonight, Elise. I suppose. As long as you're careful. I'm as careful as I can be, anyhow. As careful as you need to be, Elise. All right, all right, for goodness sake. I trust you to do what you feel is best for you, all right? Thank you, Rosemarine. She's already seen through me long ago, huh? Here I was fretting over not wanting to tell her. Can you feel it, lass? My neck. It aches, doesn't it, that kiss of mine? You wretch. What did you do to me? You did well in finding me in these depths. What is this? Something's writhing. Come to me, lass. Sink deeper. I will give you nothing less than what you seek. That serpent's dangerous. I don't like it one bit. This place is very different from that crow's realm, isn't it? Says. Porcelain knife? Well, I'd best think twice before using this. Okay, should have figured. I must find a way to get past these things somehow. Oh, how foolish I was to think he would have granted me all my heart desires. He didn't? I faltered in my resolve, in my determination. If only I had taken that last step. Why didn't you? You will know in time. I suppose I will. I got some berries. She faltered in her resolve, was it? Disturbed solely by the endless water stream, the moon's reflection graces its surface in everlasting companionship. Oh. 
نده پرس نهیم This gate's so heavy looking. I'm not strong enough to push it open. What in the... It moved. Was that Freya? Freya? What in the Lord's name was that noise? Is the reflection different? Huh. Well, there's another one. No, I knew you'd show up sooner or later, lass. Why don't we get this over with, Serpent? Where's the testament you promised me? My, I don't see the need to rush. I'm already bearing the sting of your bite, serpent. What else is it you want from me? You've received his gift, shared your flesh with that oaf of a crow. It's now my turn to partake, lassie. It stings, does it? What did you do to me, you wretch? Come find me on the farther side of these gates. Show me your resolve, traverse these depths. Only then shall I give you what you want. Wait! Won't you at least tell me your name, serpent? It's... Aziel, lass. Oh. This is such an odd lock. How am I to get it open, I wonder? It must be meant for some sort of key, but... For heaven's sake, I'll go mad if I stay here any longer.
You two will be bathed in gold, lass. All who meet him share the same fate. He, did he not grant your wish? We golden maidens belong to him, lass. Regardless of whether it is your wish he's granted, or if you were gifted to him. What? To think I was once in your shoes. Gifted to him? That couldn't be her. <laughs> Come, lass. Your goodness is much indeed, or needed. My goodness, you say. My know what you seek in these days. <laughs> that serpents. The key to its Burrow, yes, in this woodland guarded by the masked beasts, is its second half. What about the first half? Make your way deeper into the lagoon, and I'll surrender it to you. What lagoon? Wait. Oh, for goodness sake. Berries that grow on the trees, huh? Oops. Oh boy. Okay, well. Oh. It's shining so bright. I can't see what's at the bottom. bit more looking around here. Oh, a porcelain knife. Can it also not see me if I put out the match? Interesting. Probably should have brought more health stuff. Okay. Oh. No, I can still see you. It's worth a try, though. No. Okay, good. Teleporting me around, I'm getting too confused. Just might as well break all of these things, huh? Was this part of a bigger statue, I wonder? Toppled upon a dense bush. The crackstone statue rests eternally, as it were, in a peaceful slumber. This ought to be it. I'd best find the other one.
you again. Come, lass. You ought to keep your word. I have my doubts as to whether you'll keep yours. Follow the moonlight and you shall receive its graces. You've come to our rescue. Rescue? My other half has been shattered in three, left to rot in these depths. I beg of you, find the great statues and cover where they've kept my other half. You're giving me the other half of this key, surely. I'm not about to wander this lagoon with no purpose. I have what you seek, yes. Find my other half, put us to rest, and I shall aid you as well. You'd best keep your word. Mm, these moon phases, I wonder what they're for. They seem to be connected somehow. Uh-oh. Take heed. Pour all that is your passion into his six vessels, lass. Pursue his blessing at the peak of luminescence, and you too shall drown in his allure. Ah, uh, okay. Six vessels at the peak of luminescence. I may have seen these before in this lagoon. Take heed, drowning in eternally rushing waters such is our fate. In limbo we remain, doomed to gaze up at the moon's eternal crescent. How to find something resembling a water current, huh? These statues are rather demanding, aren't they? I was told you have a brave heart. Told by whom? Your grand desire for fortune and comfort runs even deeper than mine. I too longed for glory, for a chance at happiness just like you. This ill-fated prayer of ours, it's a chimera of a dream, nothing but a golden casket. So, is this a warning of some kind? Oh, you arrogant, foolish lassie. Not quite my fault hers didn't work out, is it?
cruel, aren't you? Huh? Is your wish truly worth what you're sacrificing? I don't think that's any of your business. You've been branded already, have you? What's with all these questions? My, I'm just trying to tell you. I know I made plenty, and so did the rest of us. Well, I have no intention of ending up like the lot of you. We'll meet again, then, sooner rather than later. For goodness sake. These were the six vessels, huh? I suppose I best solve the great statue's riddles. The rushing waters, huh? I suppose I'd best solve the other great statue's riddles. Take heed. One's path is nothing but the reflection of one's ungodliness. Only in the embrace of the new moon may one purify their sins. The reflection of one's ungodliness. A reflection in the new moon, I suppose. I beg of you, lass. Keep me company. I wish to be reunited with my innocence. Alright, come along. I'll take you there. We owe you our everlasting gratitude. May you receive his blessing. Stray not from your dust and path. The other serpent key. Alright. I suppose this is the key I'm missing. Stray not from my dust and path, huh? Corridor? 
We're awaiting you beyond the Crimson Bridge. No choice but to go through here, I suppose. Rose Marine. Wait. Oh, it's getting a little red now. What I I'm back here. I'm losing my wits in this maze. Ah, uh, I've already come back here multiple times. Oh, they closed it. Just curious. I can't head back now. All right. I can't move. I'm paralyzed. He speaks not but the truth. Fortune runs in your blood, lass. It's you again, you wretched serpent. I can feel its warmth. How deeply you ache for this wish of yours, lass. Can you feel it, this vent of mine reaching down to your fingertips? I'm burning. What are you doing to me, you wretch? This fear residing in you is merely a pebble in your path. <laughs> it is your coronation you're conceiving. One tribute at a time, and thus... You want to keep faith in his word. As it is he who's to honor your name. And you is to reunite with him at the peak of the full moon. Reunite? I've never met him. Please. Embrace it, Elise. Your most vile lust for sovereignty, your thirst for promiscuous blasphemy. Lebkuen, what are you saying? Please. I ache to drink from your venom and bask in your glory. My glory? Your most vile thirst for extravagance, your devotion to opulence. I ache to dine on your fa flesh and bathe in your radiance. Let me go, you. Embosom it, Elise. Your fearless lust for all that shines gold. Allow me, Elise to endow you with all that is my being and my purpose. I ache to adore your name, your beauty. I yearn for the taste of your venom. Wait. Please. Savor it, Elise. Please. Revel in it, Elise. Please. 
Indulge, Elise, by this deliverance of chastity and by your heredity, as I bear witness. So be it. My whole body is aching. Rosemarine, Lepko, and Ephraya, they were all. It's this dream again. But I, uh, when did I fall asleep? Are you deaf? You want to hurry now, or you'll miss it. Miss what? Hurry now, hurry now! The Testament. Oh, it's uh, in my pocket. To think last night really happened. Might best go find Rosemary. The things the serpent told me. To allow myself to indulge in all that. I know what that serpent meant, but am I ready to face it? Colors seem slightly different. Oh no. Yep, because the prince shot the unicorn and it was actually the princess. And she ate the apple, I guess. That apple that was up at the top there has a bite out of it. Hmm. Good thing you're here, Elise. <laughs> ah, I brought Flock in because of the rain, you see. He's, uh, well-behaved anyhow, aren't you, Flock? I see. It's raining? Uh, oh, you hadn't noticed? Uh, All right, well, it doesn't matter. I'm sorry, I... You went out last night. No, I did. I got the second testament, I suppose. Oh, I'm so glad. oh, Elise, that's wonderful. You can prepare the gift now. I was starting to fret because you've been avoiding talking about it. 
There isn't much to talk about, Rosemary. Ever since we went there together, you've become a little, uh... You said it yourself, didn't you? That I ought to do this myself for my own sake and, uh... Well, I didn't mean, you know. You're right, Elise. It truly does only concern you. Going to the woodland with you on Tuesday wasn't, uh... You agree, don't you, Flock? For goodness sake. He's a goat, Rosemarine. Anyhow, it's best we move along before it gets late. 